Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob. My name is Bob Babbitt. We are at Challenge Penticton, based at the Hood and Merganser, Lake Okanagan behind me. The Canadian Multisport National Championships this weekend, a year from now, 2017 IT World Championships, six World Championship events over 10 days. The mayor of Penticton, Mr. Andrew Jacobite, joins us. Andrew, how are you? Good. Glad to be here. Thanks so much for taking time. First of all, your city is spectacular. Talk a little bit about the fact that you're going to have six world championships next year. Because that's, when you talk about impact of a city, it's one thing to have a race on one day. You're going to have six days of racing. Oh, you know, it, it's really exciting because we, we competed. Uh, it was it's, It is the world. And we competed yes. to, I think it was a couple places in Europe uh, and Asia that they all applied for it. So yes. for us to be chosen, uh, I think, speaks to our history that we have yes. here. Uh, the course, the people, the volunteer army, and all those wonderful things that we can probably talk about further. But yes. in terms of um, this year's event and the World Championships in 2017, it, for us, our investment in this is, is really to refocus the athlete world, the triathlon world, back to Penticton as, yes. that, as that premier location to train and to compete and really everything triathlon. So that's one of the, that's the main driver behind this. And uh, to have uh, for 10 days... Uh, all these athletes from around the world coming here, you know, four or 5,000 athletes yes. and, and all their friends and family, I think is huge for uh, obviously our economic impact to, to the yes. community and the exposure to the community in the region, again, as that place to train and to compete and to maybe just come here on holiday and visit and, and, and uh, enjoy the beautiful, we take this for granted every day. Right. We're, we're one of two countries in the one of two cities in the world that is right between two lakes. Yes. We have these, you know, mountains and vineyards and scenic vistas and uh, really in terms of training, whether you're on your bike or, or running, uh, within minutes you're on these country roads with these, you know, those scenic backdrops. Yes. Uh, a car culture that's sort of used to people training or riding their bikes and, um, you know, a beautiful lake that's uh, usually calm and nice and nice and warm but not hot you know it's it's a great temperature so for for training purposes it's it's a great location uh for a venue uh to come watch sporting events we are we brand ourselves as a festival event capital uh because we have so many of them and we really take pride in our our sporting or uh, sporting yes. events and this is really one of our flagship uh, sporting events has had such a i think 34 year history oh, yeah. in our town so what's fascinating to me is really this was the first Ironman in North America. You, know, you had Kona and then had a lot of events in Europe, but really the first one was here. I think you started out with 23 people year yep. one and obviously grew to 2,700, 2,800 under the Ironman Canada brand. Then uh, Ironman went away, Challenge came on board, numbers went down, but now it's steadily growing again. How important is this group, these endurance athletes, to the city of Penticton? Well, very important. Um, you know, we always sort of focus on that one-day event, that one-day race. Right. Like I mentioned before, uh, we have athletes coming here to train on, on a regular basis. Right. Uh, not just for the race or other races, uh, just because because of the it, weather. Well, because it's a safe of the, place to train. The roads are place, wide exactly. open. Exactly. Yeah. So um, that's really important for us. And I think when we had this transition, uh, the, the challenge brand was very very popular in in Europe yes and they were very aggressive in trying to break into the North American market and I think everyone took for granted uh, they kind of forgot how long it took for <laughs> Ironman to build to those exactly. numbers so we, and myself I thought you know hey if it's 2700 athletes for, uh, for Ironman maybe next year challenge will be around 2000 it'll slowly yes. build up to that number or bigger and we kind of thought uh, because of challenge was more focused on the athlete experience with respect to you know, having uh, wave starts instead of a mass start right. uh, the the relay so now as you're getting as you're aging you can you can still be involved with the sport because you partner up with uh, someone else for the relay portion yep. of it or um, you can finish with your family like it just becomes a bit more uh, uh, and and now the following we did the half you know sure. it just made it a lot easier to be involved with the sport and the sports changing because there's so many other uh, high endurance races that are, are gaining traction tough mutters and all those other things that are different than triathlons yes. uh, that are competing for that, that same dollar that, that same, dollar, that same dollar. athlete yes. right so um, to really rebuild and that's that's why we're excited about this year being the canadian championships and super stoked for worlds. next year being the world that's really exciting i love that so in, I'm sure you've been involved with this whole endurance world for a long time. These are very unique athletes, right? They usually it's high income folks. They're good to have in the community, and, and the the carryover sometimes is families 
who didn't really know much about the sport, all of a sudden the kids and, and people who live here start adapt, adopting that endurance lifestyle. Have you seen a lot of that? I think uh, over, over the years, yeah. I, I think that's, that's always been that, that way. And, um, and it's such a great lifestyle. It is a great lifestyle, and, and it's you know not the the skinny bean poles that you see no. on race day. You'll you'll see yeah, obviously you'll see the pros, and you'll see the the keeners. Uh, but then you get all these weekend warriors of all body types of all ages. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, even Sister Madonna yes. coming through. She's such an inspiration. At Eighty plus years to be pounding out a triathlons on a regular basis is, yes. is pretty inspiring. But uh, for a lot of people, that's their their life goal or their you know it's what they've been training all year and I, that was a nice thing about challenge too is you can you can do that finish line with your family and, and those who have been with that journey yes. uh, through that year of you training that's a good point i think yeah. that's that's a nice sort of uh touch to the to it makes challenge a little bit different than some of the other races that exist out there right. um and that uh, i think was a little bit appealing and i think that's appealing uh to the athletes and also to people that are watching it helps to just add to that inspirational moment of being uh, watching this race and I think for a community uh, and the athletes really talk about the support that the community has sure. and I, I remember talking to a, a pro who the first year challenge came here um, yeah. Adam from from Victoria yeah and he was talking about how he was having a, a rough day of it and he's going around the corner, and all of a sudden, there are these two people at the end of their yard in their lawn chairs with a cowbell, go at him, go. And as he's reliving, and it was, that was the change for him. And he was, as he's rem reminiscing about this, he's actually starting to tear up, tear up and cry yeah. because it was such an emotional day for him. And that was sort of the difference. And it was, you know, you hear it all the time from the athletes about, I'm in the middle of nowhere, and all of a sudden, there'd be someone with a cowbell saying, go, 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 <laughs> or you're almost there. And it's, uh, I think it really, it really makes, Penticton as that sort of premier um, location, right? Because of not just because of the the, the route, uh, sure. but the the community support, and then yeah. we have this volunteer army that's oh, thousands crazy. strong that that uh, everyone brags about, and and everyone's really really proud to be part of that. So this is a destination community, yes. which means that your job is to bring events like like uh, challenge, like the I love the Elvis Festival, one yeah. of my favorite things. But you're, is that something that, you, that you're con you and your team are constantly looking for events or happenings to bring here? Because obviously, when the event comes, it brings people who puts heads in beds. Yeah, uh, we unofficially brand ourselves as a festival event capital, uh, just because we have so many of them for us. Yes, um, that's sort of our, our first foot in the door to showcase our area as a. As a First of all, it's a great place to come again. Right. But also maybe a place to think about retiring to, uh, oh, good investing point. in, yeah. maybe moving to, uh, you know, uh, getting out of the rat race uh, when you're when you have to commute for an hour and a half uh, to your job and then do your stressful job and then an hour and a half back and cuts into your family time, your training time, whatever. And uh, for us, our commute uh, commute from lake to lake is <laughs> rush hour for us is it's it's nine or nine or ten minutes instead of <laughs> five or six minutes, and so. Uh, that starts to resonate to people when they come out here and they, you know, hey, I, as long as I have internet, I can probably still work and do my job. Maybe I should think about coming out to this area or what would it look like if I came out to this area or should I plan for retiring here? And, and that's, that doesn't happen until people come here and, and they see it and they kind of realize this is kind of nice. This is pretty and this is, has this amenities and these yeah. amenities and um, I could see myself here. So how, how could I plan on making myself there? And that's that's what investing in festivals and events does. It, it opens the door, and certainly um, sports tourism is, is probably the, the best way of doing it, and the athletes that are in the triathlon world or the Grand Fondo world is another sort of premier one we do. Uh, they all have uh, money. They all have uh, opportunities to, to really work wherever they want. A lot yep. of them do, and uh, those are really prime candidates uh, for, for people, whether it's the retiree with money or it's the young family that's looking for something to get out of the rat race sure. and, and have, a, have a bit more of a relaxed lifestyle those are ones we're really wanting to target and, and events like this uh, the challenge race is, is really helps to showcase our, our region as a place to train and and live and enjoy life so have there been some mo you mentioned one moment with a pro who was sharing his story have there been some other moments for you being at that finish line because I would say that it's pretty cathartic when people we we're going through the operations and dealing with details, but then when you see what 
the impact that finish line has on somebody who might have never been there before, didn't know they could do it, and I'm sure you've been there at that finish line. What, what does it mean, and what are some of the moments that stand out for you? Um, well, I mean, for me, I, I think most people will, will look at the triathlon athlete and yes. say, uh, wow. Uh, I mean, for, for me, I get tired after three meters of swimming, let alone three <laughs> kilometers. Yeah. You know, 120 bikes, uh, yeah, yeah. clicks for a bike, that's a long bike ride. And then, of course, 30, I mean, I, one kilometer, I get uh, tired or yes. winded. And so you have a lot of respect for these athletes. Uh, to see them come across the line, and especially those uh, right before the buzzer, you yes. know, the, the you 17 know, hour, yeah, yeah, uh, the hour is here, yeah. Just to, just to see that that enthusiasm as they come through the line and that that sense of relief. And some of the athletes, um, I I know obviously from sure. town here or from the region, uh, to to see them finish the day or talk to them the day before, and they're all excited and and see them pound out the day at eight hours later and and still have that big smile on their face. Uh, as they come down that finish line, it, I, that's really um, inspirational for a lot of people yeah. to see that and, and to be there. And I'm, I've the last five years, probably, yes. I've been at the finish line handing out medals. And last year, I was there pretty much <laughs> the whole time. Yes, <laughs> My yeah. poor arms were getting sore because uh, there are a lot of athletes coming through. But yeah. um, it's I I think that's important, to, especially as a mayor, to to support uh, the event and also to thank these athletes for coming here and uh, to congratulate them and, and some of them, they, they come in with their kid on their arm yep. or whatever and they're uh, so happy and so proud and um, I think that's uh, that's fun to witness and be part of. That's kind of electric. Everybody who leaves here basically becomes an ambassador for Penticton. That's they're, right. They're going back to tell their folks in their, in their communities this is a great place to come and it's a great event to race. Congratulations on everything you guys are doing. I love the fact six world championships over 10 days next year, four events over five days this year. The festival is seriously the, the future for the sport of triathlon, don't you think? Oh, I think so, and that's what we're we're trying to. That was one of the other reasons for going to the challenge is is try to bring it out to a sort of a week long event, yes, a festival atmosphere, not just show up for the race and 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 go. Leave. So yeah. uh, stretch it out, and so to have the Canadian Championships and the World Championships stretched out over multiple days, uh, it's and. For a lot of these athletes, they can probably do two or three well, of them yeah. as well. We have a bunch of them doing um, three, four events, yeah. And to be able to say I was at the Worlds and I, I competed here and I competed there and I got a medal here, and um, I think that's that's pretty alluring for a lot of athletes yes. as well. So I think that's quite exciting and it's a great opportunity for, for not just Penticton but the region of, of South, South Okanagan. So we Love look it. forward to it. Andrew, thanks so much for taking time. Thank you. Uh, really, really a pleasure to be here wonderful community and uh, i think the racing on sunday is going to be spectacular i look forward to it love it S see you andrew soon. jacob bite has been our guest the mayor That's of right. Penticton. wait and so you're racing on sunday no <laughs> no <laughs> again this is breakfast with bob and we're at challenge Penticton. we're at the hooded merganser hold on everybody we will be right back